Walk with us as we show you camping at Adventures on the Gorge. We're going to show you the campsites, bathhouses, laundry facilities, and walk through the whole resort while sharing with you all the details we know so you can plan your stay. Let's get started. Adventures on the Gorge isn't just a campground, it's an adventure resort. But if you're bringing in an RV or travel trailer or just want to tent camp, you need to see these sites before you book your stay. We were surprised by what we found and through this video you'll know way more than we did. Let's first talk about location and price and later we'll show you what you can find in the resort. Adventures on the Gorge is located one and a half miles from the New River Gorge Canyon Rim Visitor Center in Lansing, West Virginia. Both are right off US Highway 19, less than a mile, and the road to the resort is easy for RVs. Located on the rim of New River Gorge National Park, there is a beautiful view of the bridge that we will show later. You really can't get closer to the action unless you stay in the National Park at one of their unimproved campgrounds. Now that you know the location, you may be wondering about the price. That is next, and in a minute, we'll discuss what you can find at your campsite. RV sites are $69 per night. We found this a good value as we spent time here and really took advantage of all the resort has to offer. As you plan your trip, know that there are only 15 sites available. They are defined as pull-through sites, but ours wasn't pull-through for us. We'll show you why a little later when we go into site details. Tent sites are $39 to $59 per night and come with a picnic table, fire ring, and garbage can. There are multiple areas to tent on the property and each is a little different. As you'll see, some are in the woods and others are by the RV sites and cottages. The distance to the Canyon Rim Village is another factor that should be considered. We're walking our dogs in this video and the walk back to area three was longer than we expected and is down in a valley. If you don't have an RV and choose not to tent, Adventures on the Gorge has many cottage options to choose from. We'll put a link in the video description to their website so you can research more. Now let's talk about the activities you can find for free in the campground and next we'll share what you can find at your campsite. This place is big. If you want a place to walk, there's a lot of room for walking. There are also two hikes on the property. We hike the Wild Rock Trail, which starts at the Disc Golf Course and travels through the woods along the New River. The Mill Creek Trails meander through the woods behind the cottages. Don't miss the volleyball court behind the Mill Creek Retail Store next to the Rendezvous Bar. There is a huge playground in the middle of the Canyon Rim Village that includes a pirate ship with a climbing wall, two towers with a variety of slides and swings. You can find cornhole games near the coffee shop. If you want to relax, there are plenty of places to relax and unwind. There is seating in the registration office, benches through the Canyon Rim Village, and a lot of seating on the pool deck. Every campground video needs a dad joke. Why would the boy only do the backstroke in the pool? He just had lunch from the snack shop and didn't want to swim on a full stomach. Speaking of the pool, this is one of the best we've been to. The pool has two levels with a waterfall and rock features in between. The lower level has an area that is walk-in, which is great for toddlers who have trouble with steps or ladders. The upper level is deeper throughout and for your older brood. We had an afternoon playing in and around the waterfall and hanging out on the pool deck. This is also one of the only pools where we have seen lifeguards. They are there to keep people off the rocks and the waterfall edge, as well as provide for safe use of the pool and surrounding sun deck. The seating is great and Adventures on the Gorge has set up this space for you to spend all day here with towel service, a snack and drink shack, and a great view of the New River Bridge. We told you this was a cool resort. What are you most excited about on your trip to New River Gorge? Join the conversation in the comments below. So what can you find at your RV campsite? The campsites are nestled in an open area within cottages and tent sites. There are some very large trees above and we had a site that was mostly shade. Each RV site has electric hookups with 20 amp, 30 amp, and 50 amp outlets. Water and sewer are not available, but there is a pump out close by and portable water is available to fill your tank. Each site does have a picnic table and fire ring. The sites also have a charcoal grill and trash can too. The campsites have crushed stone pads and being that it is in the forest, the grass isn't the best, but the sites are spaced out nicely. We noticed one downside, especially to our campsite, the sites are level, but in order to make some of them level, the exit out of the site is very steep. We chose to back out of site four due to the slope and it wasn't a big deal for us to hook up our towed vehicle after we were packed up and out of the site. The neighboring campsites have to navigate the slope too. We'll get back to the campground in a minute. Let's talk about what else you can find at the resort. If you're looking for food and drink, Adventures on the Gorge has you covered. We walked in for a drink and appetizers at Jetty's Pub and decided to eat dinner there one night. You will find cold beer, wine, full bar and pop. We enjoyed the menu, the servers were great, and our brood enjoyed watching sports on TV. For a slightly more refined taste, the Smokies on the Gorge is more of a restaurant with entrees and steaks. We didn't even see the Rendezvous Bar in the Mill Creek Village. They have mostly burgers, fries, tots, and drinks. 
and is the live music venue for the resort. Sweet Java Falls is where you go for specialty coffee, tea, and hot chocolate. They are open early, but you can also stop in during the day to get a quick caffeine fix. With the best atmosphere in the resort, Canyon Falls Snack Shack is poolside and has frozen drinks for adults, quick bites, ice cream, and other treats and drinks for all ages. Plan on spending at least one of your meals enjoying what the resort has to offer. Chances are you'll find a way to go back for more. Are you hungry now? Let's get back to the campground and later we'll discuss what else you can find on the resort property. Located near RV Site 4 is the bathhouse. Here you will find a row of separate stalls. In the men's bathroom, we found clean showers and toilets. The sinks were nice and paper towels and hand soap is also available. In the bathhouse is a separate laundry facility. Here there are two washers and two dryers. All are coin operated. There is also a small counter and a laundry tub. Another bathhouse and laundry is located in area three, Chestnut Ridge and one in each village to service the other campground sections and the people using the resort. The dump station is in an open area that is easy to get to behind the parking lot in Mill Creek Village. You can fill up your freshwater tank here or at the south end of the campground. Are you getting a feel for how big this resort is? Well, it's about to get bigger. You've heard about the free activities in the park? For a fee, you can enjoy more. There are multiple adventures you can reserve with your stay. For those who want to fly through the trees, there is a treetops canopy tour near the RV park. There are 10 zip lines in this course, swinging bridges and a 35 foot rappel. Check with the resort for age and weight restrictions. Next on our list is the Timber Truck Adventure Park. This is kind of a self-guided thing where you can enjoy multiple challenges while attached to a harness. The minimum age is four, so your brood should be able to find a course that is right for you. Third on our list is laser tag and paintball. The course is deep in the forest with large trees, obstacles, and barriers to plan an offense or shelter and defense. With all these adventures, you'll be sure to find something. But if you want more, the resort has other tours including mountain biking, horseback riding, or V tours, rock climbing, and more. But if you are like us, your brood is here for the water. In New River Gorge National Park, you can raft, tube, or kayak the New River, and there are a few operators you can work with. Adventures on the Gorge and Ace are the two largest. Our brood went with Ace, and we'll share why in another video, but both companies provide an excellent experience. The Upper New River is for a more quiet rafting trip. If you want to hit the bigger rapids, the Lower New River is where it's at. These views are from the Lower New Rafting trip, but the river is random. Each day the water is different. Your experience will be different from ours. Talk to the reservation specialist and ask questions. If you are going in the fall and want a wild trip, ask about the Gully River. We probably called half a dozen times to learn which tour was best for us and we found both with Ace and Adventures on the Gorge, the customer service was great, both over the phone and on site. When you are done with your tour, make sure to visit one of the gift shops on site. You will find all sorts of shirts, sweatshirts, mugs, stickers, magnets, and other souvenirs. If you forgot something, they also have sunscreen, sunglasses, hats, water gear, camping supplies, snacks, and more. To learn more about New River Gorge National Park, watch this video next.